Good evening, everyone. Walla Legay and I'm Onyechi Legay. I'm going to use my Nigerian name here. Um, and I am so pleased. I just want to tell a story. In 2012, many continental Africans, leaders, sat at the table and we said, there are no African representation everywhere. Why? Because we were taking our money, putting it into candidates that didn't understand our culture. They would say we promised us, they would tell us everything we wanted to hear. And yet and still when they got in office, they forgot about us. But we turned that around. Monica's right, we got um, uh, Councilwoman Fisher in, we got Councilman Will Jawando, my friend from high school in, um, and then we increased it. For the first time on the county council, we have three daughters of African descent on the county council of 11. We have made moves, and we did that because I started going to the African community and saying we need representation. Councilwoman Fisher started going into the African community and saying we need representation. And we have another um, Kenyan, um, a daughter of Kenyan immigrants, um, Crystal Oriata, who's with us there, started going into the African community. We started speaking because what I wanted to be clear to you all is that when I've sat in rooms, people don't know our power. We have power. We have numbers. Over, of almost 30% of the population in Prince George's County are Africans. 40% of the businesses in Prince George's County are African owned. We have power, but yet, oftentimes, we're so focused on home. Who's gonna be president at home? Who's running at home? Everybody now is talking about um, Peter Obi. I'm hearing it everywhere. Everybody's doing that. But what do we focus on here? I mean, what do we focus on? Miss Chris gets it. Because I've been saying this for years, you would get nothing. You can help more people from home if you build here. And we haven't done it. We don't know who our representatives are. And what do we have? I know someone would say, oh, you know, I'm just going home. I just get my money here and I'll be going home. And they said that 10 years ago, then 30, 20 years, then 30 years, then 40 years, and they're still here. Then they pack their bags, they go back home, and they come back a year later. So that's what we will say. That's what's happening in our community. It's time for a change. Now we have the people in, but we need the infrastructure. And this is the infrastructure here. Let's support UNEC. Let's create more organizations because as Councilwoman Fisher will tell you, every organization that represents every other immigrant community is in our face, asking us for money. But let's make it clear. Immigrant issues don't go in only one group. When people think of immigrant issues, they do not think of Africans. And why? Because we are not in anyone's face telling them what our issues are. We have business issues. Well, immigration issues are not alone an issue of the Latino community. It is our issue too. But no one thinks that because we don't talk. So let's talk. Let's open up and say it's not enough to have someone in office. Because while we're in office, we got everybody in our face with their money hands out asking for something. But it's it's important for us to empower our leaders like Miss Chris that can come before us and say, here is what you can do for the African community. That's how it's done. And that's how we will see results from years to come. Thank you so much for your